What's going on everyone? Johnny of The Wolf v. Com, and I wanted to do something a little bit different for today's video. And this is really about business in general and mindset when it comes to creating success long term. Because you see, I talk with a lot of people that are getting into e-commerce or online marketing or affiliate marketing or even some people that are thinking about starting gyms. And I talk about I talk with people that have just started the business or have been in these businesses for some time. And Unfortunately, a lot of the conversations come around why we haven't seen fast, quick results, right? Now, this isn't to suggest that you can't see fast and quick results in business, but the thing is, you're gonna have a series of peaks and valleys. It's gonna be a roller coaster ride for the most part, uh, unless you, aside from a few outlying factors here, okay? So just so you're aware, I'm not suggesting you can not create immense success in any kind of business or venture that you go on, right? But I've been reading this book lately called The Slight Edge, you see right here, and I strongly recommend it. I'll drop, the, I'll drop a link in uh, below this video. But the underlying theme of the book is that if you're consistent with anything, you're gonna, you're gonna eventually be successful. And this really got me to thinking about what I'm doing today in 20, late 2021, um, what is and isn't working in my life. And as I reflect back on the last three, five, 10 years, the mistakes I made, and then if I had just taken a different approach, how different things could have been, right? So what I wanna say is I have a belief that you can be successful in anything, right? Business, fitness, uh, relationships, career, whatever it may be. And it really comes down to just being consistent and playing things long-term, okay? So let me give you some specific examples. Weight loss is a great example for this, right? How many people do you know that sign up for a weight loss venture, program, plan, diet, whatever it may be, and after three days, three weeks, maybe even three months, they're pissed off because they haven't lost 30, 40, 50, 100 pounds, right? And I'm not suggesting this doesn't happen. You know, I have a, uh, a background in kind of bodybuilding, I guess you could say. I'm far from a pro bodybuilder, don't get me wrong. But what a lot of people in that space are able to do is they're they're obsessed, they're extremely disciplined, they're extremely consistent, and they're able to drop weight very quickly. But it's often not sustainable, which kind of goes back to my point of, you can create quick cash grabs in business, but oftentimes it's gonna be followed by a drought or a gap unless you have a system of process in place that allows you to, to build layers upon layers uh, to generate success, right? So I wanna actually share some really cool examples of this, okay? So if you look at my screen real quick, you're gonna see this is one of the guys that I've learned the most from sales and marketing from. And his name's Alex Ramosi. He was originally the guy that basically taught me how to get my gym to become profitable years ago. Uh, hats off to Alex if you're watching. Follow his channel. And the reason why is because the messages are, are very raw, honest, and driven around work hard, do the work, be consistent, and you can create success along with making good decisions and getting lucky along the way. Uh, but the thing is that luck is gonna show up from consistency and effort over time of not getting paid, not getting what you know what you want and and really building towards that, right? It's just like weight loss. You know, you're you join a gym, you start a weight loss program today, you're not gonna find yourself 30 pounds lighter tomorrow just because you paid and signed up. It's going to take days, weeks, months before you see the result occur from doing the work consistently. And then on top of that, you need to become the type of person that can sustain that after. Because the type of person that is 30 pounds lighter or 20 pounds lighter or 100 pounds lighter or whatever it is that you picture your perfect weight, health, or body, that version of you is going to behave very differently. They're gonna do different things day to day. They're gonna have a different mindset, state of being, energy about them. That's what separates that version of you from you yourself, right? And that can that same idea can be applied to your business, your uh, relationships. Maybe you want to be a better partner, right? To your your spouse or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. Okay. And what you have to think about is if you're not being the version of the person you aspire to be with this, right? The version of you behaves differently, they act differently, they have different routines, different 
um, different energy about them. They follow different, uh, you know, uh, they, they spend their time differently on the weekends. Maybe they get up early, you get up late, right? Little things like that, but those little things will add up. And this book gave some really awesome examples. Uh, I'm not gonna get specifically into it because I want you to, to get the book because it's really good and I recommend it, but it will definitely get you thinking long-term of, okay, maybe I can't become go from broke to millionaire in the next six or 12 months, but if I'm consistent working at something that will add up to that financial outcome, it, I could get there in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, depending on the model, the business, what you're selling, the margins, everything else in between. But I wanna share this because a lot of people in e-commerce, a lot of people in affiliate marketing, A, they get into it because they want quick cash, okay? Or B, they're in a very desperate spot and they're like scrambling to get into a better financial position to create a better life for themselves for whatever reason behind that. Okay, so I think it's really important that you enter really any business with the right expectations. Now, can you create a massive success very quickly? Yes, absolutely. And I, there's people I know that are far beyond uh, successful than I was and I am in e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, even in doing YouTube, right? Which is something I've been doing steadily and consistently for almost two years now, crazy to think about. And those things do happen, but remember, there's always peaks and valleys, right? And typically, if you're going to become, or if you're going to be the type of person that enters a, a business, a marketplace, a, a, an online business, let's say e-commerce dropshipping, for example, unless you have the soft skills underneath of creating good videos, finding products that sell, being able to understand beta analytics, KPIs with conversion rates, you know, there's things you're going to have to learn along the way and or be the type of person that can get people that know and understand those things so you can perform. So if you walk into this without the right skill sets, without the right stature or state of being, you're going to, it's going to be a longer journey, right? But, you know, not to go too philosophical with this, I think a lot of this goes back to our childhood and how we're raised and the confidence that's instilled in us because confidence can have a big impact. Confidence can help you shortcut things because you're you're more bold and and coming from a better place and energy to try something new try something different right as an example not always but generally speaking whereas if you're raised in in a environment where you're told that things are impossible you're not special there's nothing uh you don't deserve success right all those things that get drilled into a lot of people at a young age you may give up early think it doesn't work, think it's a scam, whatever the business is, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're opening a bakery, doesn't matter if you're opening a gym, right? So the point I want you to take away from this video is that you can create success in pretty much anything you wanna do in life. Uh, and it really comes down to the consistency, the uh, steady approach with the right actions, right? So obviously that'll change over time. Your strategy, your game plan is gonna evolve and whatever business, endeavor, goal, whatever it is that you're, you're going after, okay? That's just the reality. But I just want you to understand, like, here's two examples. If we go back to my computer. So Alex started this channel, I want to say maybe a year ago. You can actually tell right here. Let's see, 2009. But he didn't really start posting videos. I want you to know something. He has 75,000 subscribers almost. If we go into his videos... Once you understand how quickly things can change, like this is to promote his gym. Really cool video, by the way. One year ago, he started this video with this video. Uh, number one mistake I'm seeing gyms make, right? So he was basically getting out of like the fitness gym space, getting into more general business success, entrepreneurship with his messaging, which is really cool. Another reason why you should follow his channel. Within one year, he went from zero to 75,000. And this is not because he made viral content, like his content is very raw and, and it's very long term, everything about it. There's no quick get, get rich quick uh, schemes in his messaging or in what he's saying in his videos. But the reason why he's gone from zero to 75,000 followers in, in basically a year or so is because of the type of person he was already. He already had the discipline and consistency and he had applied that to things before that had grown an audience. 
He has friends in high places from doing the work, networking, all this stuff has added up. A lot of actions, if his goal was to make money from this YouTube channel, which he's making some money from, I don't know how to calculate exactly how much, but he's getting paid uh, some money from this every month to just put out YouTube videos, but he's also getting clients from this, right? So I say this because if his goal was to make money from this channel, which I really doubt it is because I know he makes far more money in excess of what YouTube will pay him for this, these kinds of view counts, doing all the other things he does, Let's, let's think about this as a, as a great example, right? He uh, put in time, energy, and money, networking, growing his own businesses, helping others grow their own businesses. And then he wakes up one day and starts YouTube, fast forward one year after that day, and he has a 75,000 subscriber base to his YouTube channel. And all my friends in the entrepreneurship business space, now they're talking about him. Now they're saying, hey, his messaging is so raw and honest, I love it. So that's just like an example of, you can't necessarily get rich overnight. You win the lottery, you'll probably lose a lot of it. So there are some exceptions and outliers, I get it. But generally speaking, this 75,000 subscriber count which I haven't done, I've been at this for two years with a level of consistency. Think about it. He's been able to do this in basically 12 months because of the type of person he was and all the other things that he had been doing consistently for year upon year upon year upon year upon year. He achieved someone's goal of getting paid by YouTube and maybe even being a full-time YouTuber. He did this on the side as a side result of the hard work and consistency uh, years upon years upon years, probably 10 years or so of just consistency in his other endeavors. Another example is my friend Ryan Hoke, who has been consistent, check this out. He joined 2006, that was probably his, just as personal, but if we go back, and he was my fraternity brother, uh, went to college together, we we're just a year apart, we were roommates at one point, uh, he was always interested in ways to legitimately make side income online, right? And he went all in on this probably two or three years after college. He's 30, around 30, maybe 31, 32 now. And if we go back, you could see the consistency. The consistency has added up, right? Like there's no way he could not become successful because just out of the pure level of consistency. So he started doing YouTube videos two-ish years ago. He went from zero to 84,000 subscribers and he gets paid by YouTube every single month, depending on like the view count responsiveness of his videos. But I can tell you it didn't just, for him it actually didn't happen, just like with Alex. It didn't happen like this. It was very flat, very flat. And then actually during the pandemic, his consistency paid off because he was already had a, a base. He was consistent. He was talking about things already that people suddenly became more interested in, in the mass market, making money online, making money with Amazon, doing print on demand. And he had this hockey stick kind of growth, just like Alex, right? I remember watching Alex's videos from day one. I've watched every single one of them almost. And I remember his view count. I was like, oh, he's only got, he's a big dog. He's only, he's only got like a couple, like 2000 subs. And then a month later, he's got 10,000. Then a month later, he's got 25,000. Then a month later, he's got 45,000, right? So you can see how this compounds. My friend Ryan, I, I believe in uh, March or February 2020, he was maybe at, he could tell you the exact number, maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. 9,000. No more than 10 ish thousand subscribers. He's now 83,000 subs. He's gained <laughs> net 70,000 subs in just a year, year and a half from that point. And it was a hockey stick growth, not a steady growth, okay? But it really comes out, obviously he puts out good content. If he was just consistently putting out trash content that no one would wanna watch, that'd be another story. This, he would not be a good example, right? So consistency, if you show up to the gym every day, doesn't mean you're gonna get a result. Let's be honest, right? You still need to do the right things. But a lot of people look for these secrets, they look for the quick hack, and these things will come about, they will show up every now and then but you want to have the consistency and the foundation for this so that when it does show up, it explodes you, right? Like talking about a hot topic can be a, a exponential growth factor, right? But 
if you have an audience and then you start talking about the topic to your audience two years in of consistency, that's where you're going to see that kind of explosive growth typically, right? So if you like, look at my channel, I started, we put out our first video, January 21st, 2020. <laughs> look at those, look at those views. I have 13 views, basically no views. Oh, the views are coming in and I'm not, I don't have a hundred thousand subs. Let, let's just be real. I got 2,200, but I want you to see the consistency. And as I, as I do this video, I want you to understand that I plan to have this kind of growth and success. And I, I believe it's coming. I know it's coming. So not to go off into the personal development, uh, wish it, speak it into existence kind of stuff. I believe that stuff works, but it's, it's the icing on the cake. You still need to do the work itself. But the beauty of this is you're going to see that hockey stick growth from my channel or aggressive growth periods. I know it's coming. I believe it's coming. I don't know when it's going to come. I don't care. And that's the secret. That is the secret to this book right? This book is saying, be consistent. And it, it it's inevitable you will generate the success you want. So if you take a, a vehicle like YouTube, and you produce content around the make money online marketing space where you get typically paid the best per view. If I'm consistent enough for a long period of time, a YouTube is eventually going to be a income source for me. That is one of my goals. I write down every single morning, but B, I also get a lot of business from this, right? And that comes from having that consistency that you can't buy your, I can't media buy. I can't just buy a bunch of ads and then get this kind of result that I get from when people see my YouTube videos that have been sitting there for days, weeks, months, or years at this point, I still get people coming to me, DMing me every day, or at least a few times a week saying, Hey, I saw your YouTube video. You put out the November, 2020 on the feedback score with Facebook. Does that still work? Right? So I still get those kinds of questions, but I share this because I'm not at my, my peak potential of success by any means, but I'm well on my way. And a lot of this has come from just the last one to two years where I've, I've shifted my perspective on how I do what I do. And I'm always, doing my best to think long-term, even when there's those quick cash grabs that do pop up left and right, because the more success you create around yourself, you're not going to, it's not going to be hard to find opportunities. The hard part actually becomes choosing which opportunities you say yes and no to, because you're going to have a lot of people that will want to work with you. Once you become the attractive character, the successful person that people are interested in hearing, seeing, or being around or learning from. The hard part is staying focused, manage your time, not getting distracted, and not chasing after things that are short-term or quick buck, right? So just wanna share this video. I'm gonna put out more videos like this. I think it's really important to hear these kinds of messages, aside from just the typical tactical, how to uh, create Facebook ad campaigns that convert kind of stuff. Like that stuff's fun, that stuff's cool. I'll still keep using this channel for that. But this is the general direction I wanna take things is how we do what we do, how we spend our time and energy and where we invest it to, okay? And and if you, if you start changing your attitude towards more long-term thinking, more long-term strategy with most things you do, along with the quick cash grabs as needed along the way, I have a belief that you will land somewhere amazing five years, 10 years. It's not sexy, right? Maybe two years, maybe you'll get lucky. Um, we, I gave you two examples of that working, but this, you want that hockey stick type of growth. You want that exponential growth. You won't get rich quick, but typically you will get, uh, things will happen fast when they do happen, but it's only gonna come from that foundation of being consistent, doing things over time without getting paid without uh, anyone giving you acknowledgement, right? Like that's usually where things pay off. I see this last example. I train jujitsu three to five times a week. I beat myself up a lot because I'm not progressing like the guys that train twice a day, but I, I, I also have to check myself with the understanding that that's just the reality. I'm not going to be able to train twice a day. I just logistically can't do it. I have other things in, that are priorities in my life. But I know with certainty that if I'm consistently training three to five times a week, I'm gonna be at that black belt level seven years from now or whenever that shows up, 
whenever I become the type of person that has earned that, right? You know, I hope it's seven years, may not be, might be longer. That's not my decision. But the point is that by being consistent with something like that, that's how you become, jujitsu is an amazing mirror for, you know, if you're, if you're in my personal life, you're probably like, oh, he's talking about jujitsu again. Listen, jujitsu is one of the best things I've ever done for myself because it, it constantly keeps me in check that you have to be consistent with something over long periods of time if you want to see the fruition of your work and uh, things don't happen overnight. You can speed them up by being more consistent, by doing the right things more consistently, but there are very few shortcuts to success and then uh, think long-term with all your approaches, right? I can promise you this will make a difference in your life, personally and professionally. So until next time, just want to share this quick message. I hope this struck a chord. I hope this added something to your day. I hope this has a positive influence on what you do, how you do it, and why you do what you do. Because life is short. Uh, we get one life, as far as I know. And what you make of it, it day, minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day, does matter. So uh, until next video, if you've enjoyed this, drop a comment below. And I'll see you on the next one.